Now that Candace has tagged me in a photo, let's navigate over to my personal account to see what effect this has on my profile. Notice I have a post in my newsfeed. Also notice that I have a new notification. If I click on it, the most recent notification at the top reads, Candace tagged a photo of you. Let's minimize the notification window and navigate over to my personal profile by clicking on the profile button. Notice there is also a post on my wall. If I wanted to view the photo, I could click on the photo or click on the view photos of me link. At this point, let's navigate back over to Candace's profile. Next, let's experiment with how to change our profile picture. To begin, navigate over to the Photos tab. Currently, Candace only has one photo in the Profile Pictures album. Remember, the Profile Pictures album is a special album. To get a photo into there that is currently in another album, first click on that album. In this case, I'll click on the album that has my picture on it. Next, I'll click on the thumbnail of me. From here, we can set the current picture as the profile picture. To do so, scroll down and click on the Make Profile Picture button. Before the picture can be set as our profile picture, we'll have to crop it. Since I want the whole picture, I'll drag the transparent box into the left hand corner. Next, I'll grab the square handle in the bottom right of the transparent box. By grab, I mean click and hold with your left mouse button and drag it as far to the right hand corner of the picture as you can. Now, we can click on the Done Cropping button. Notice we are automatically redirected to the profile page and notice the profile picture in the upper left hand corner has changed from Candace's photo to a photo of me. To change the photo back to a photo of Candace, navigate over to the Photos tab. This time, click on the Profile Pictures album. The reason being is that this is the album where the photo of Candace is located. Next, click on the thumbnail of Candace. From here, scroll down and click on the Make Profile Picture button. Instead of being asked to crop the photo, a dialog box pops up and asks if we are certain we would like to make this photo our profile picture. The reason being is that the album we are currently viewing is the Profile Pictures album, and it is assumed that every photo in this album has already been cropped. I'll click the OK button. Notice we are once again redirected to the profile page and that a photo of Candace has replaced mine as the assigned profile picture. Next, let's explore how to delete photos. To begin, navigate over to the Photos tab. To delete a picture from the Profile Pictures album, click on that album. Let's delete the photo of me from this album. Note, this same photo still exists in the other album we created earlier in this tutorial. The reason being is that when you make a photo from another album your profile photo, a copy of that photo is created and placed in the profile pictures album. Let's click on the photo of me.
to delete this photo, scroll down and click on the Delete This Photo button. A dialog box pops up and asks if we are sure we want to delete the photo. I'll confirm by clicking on the Delete button. At this point, the photo has been deleted as indicated by the dialog box. In addition, we are automatically redirected to the previous photo from the album. To confirm the photo has been deleted, let's navigate back to the Profile Pictures album. To do so, click on the Back to Album link. Notice the thumbnail of the photo we deleted is gone. Let's navigate back to Candace's profile by clicking on the Back to Profile link. Next, let's experiment with how to delete an entire photo album. To begin, click on the Photos tab. Let's practice by deleting the album entitled The Super Special First Album of Random Photos. First, open the album by clicking on it. Next, click on the Edit Photos link. Notice the tabs with all the different options. The one we are looking for is the Delete tab. I'll click on that now. Let's not delete the album, but if we wanted to delete it, we would click on the Delete button to do so. Let's navigate back to Candace's profile now by clicking on the Profile button. In addition to the Photos application, Facebook has many applications available for it and is supported by a rich developer community. One popular application on Facebook is called Bumper Sticker. To search for this application, you can type it into the Facebook search box located in the top right hand corner of the screen. Notice as I start typing, a list appears underneath the search box with suggested results. The Bumper Sticker app is the first one in the list. I could click on it here, but I want to illustrate how to browse for Facebook applications. To do so, I'll click on the Search Facebook item. Notice all the different tabs. These tabs represent subcategories within Facebook. When you type a search in the Facebook search box, it searches all of Facebook. To limit our search results to the subcategory of applications, let's click on the Applications tab. Now, only search results for applications will appear. To change the view back to a list of tabs with all the subcategories, simply click on the All Results tab. Notice the view changes almost immediately. At this point, let's navigate back to Candace's profile by clicking on the Profile button. This has been an introduction into Facebook applications. I'm Paromatic, and thank you for watching.